Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. I am Swati Balki working as a senior software developer at MathWorks. In this video, I will take you through the workflow to deploy Simscape models on real-time hardware using HDL Coder. To give a quick overview on the model, here we have a three-phase, two-level voltage source converter which is connected to a low voltage grid by an LC filter. There is some current and voltage measurements and then there is a circuit breaker which allows us to connect and disconnect the converter to the grid. And then here is a low voltage load and then there is a transformer which connects to the medium voltage grid. We also have interface circuitry to connect to the real-time interface of the hardware. Now, this model is running on the desktop using Simscape. If you want to run this on hardware supporting high frequency switching with greater fidelity, the time steps required will be in the order of microseconds. Achieving these time steps on traditional CPUs is impossible. However, running these models on FPGAs would meet the time step requirements. So now, We'll go ahead running this model on FPGA to meet the timing requirements. In order to do that, I will run the Simscape HDL workflow advisor on the model to generate an HDL compatible model. The Simscape HDL workflow advisor is a tool that automates the process of converting Simscape models to HDL compatible models by transforming the Simscape networks to an equivalent representation. To further optimize the generated HDL compatible model, the Simscape HDL workflow advisor provides multiple options like you can select the position of the computation. You also have an option to select the mapping of state space parameters to FPGA RAMs. Clicking the link provided in the advisor opens the HDL compatible model. The subsystem highlighted in the green is deployed onto the FPGA and the rest of the algorithm is executed on the CPU of a real-time machine. Now let's look at the internals of this subsystem. In the center part, we have a plant model consisting of a converter and the state space representation of the Simscape model generated by the Simscape HTL advisor. Here is the PWM generation unit which generates PWM signals based on the controller outputs. Then we have some scaling of the analog interfaces. We also have a DMA streaming mechanism to stream the signals to the CPU where they can then be logged in real time. And we have some triggering for the analog outputs. Now with this, I can directly go through the HTL workflow advisor by right clicking on the block and going through HDL Workflow Advisor. This advisor provides the option to select the target workflow, reference design of the selected board, and an option to map the signals to the various interfaces, such as PCIe interface between the FPGA and CPU. We also have analog interface for mapping analog ins and analog outputs and then the streaming interface of DMA streaming. Further, HDL workflow advisor generates the HDL code and bit stream. It also gives us an FPGA driver block with which we can communicate with the FPGA from desktop through CPU. It also gives us provision to log the waveforms that can be visualized using Data Inspector. With this, I would like to conclude by summarizing what we have discussed. We have seen how real-time simulations greatly improves the power electronics design and testing process. We have also discussed on why FPGAs are important for real-time simulations of such complex and high-frequency switching systems. The key takeaways from this video would be the integrated workflow where we have seen how the Simulink environment is used right from designing the Simscape network, converting it to HDL compatible model, and then deploying the bitstream onto hardware, performing high-speed real-time simulations on the hardware. 
With this integrated workflow, we can greatly reduce the cost and risk in dealing with such complex designs, leading in quick time to market. Thank you.